This is cute. Welcome back to my channel, it's Ella Michelle, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my first flexi rod set ever. Um, if you guys have been following me, you guys see I'm a lazy natural for the most part. I've only done braid outs, twist outs, and recently, last year, I finally dove into the world or dived into the world of wash and goes and have been obsessed. So today, um, if you guys didn't know, I am a brand ambassador for Tailored Beauty, and for one of our campaigns, it is to do a flexi rod set. So I was like, okay, it's about time I finally come on my channel, do a flexi rod set. It will be good for you guys to see, plus some versatility to my channel and seeing me actually style my hair with a styling tool. So I don't want to ramble. I hate rambling. So if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on my post notifications so you are aware of when I post, and let's get into this video. So for this tutorial, I am going to be doing my flexi rod set on blow dried hair because I am a lazy natural and I do not want my hair taking forever to dry. So starting off on blow dried hair, and as y'all can see, my hair is getting pretty long. I have been using my hair growth oil. If you guys didn't know, um, Lavish Curls is my hair growth oil. It will be in the description box below for you guys to purchase and check it out. My hair has been growing like crazy using this hair oil. And a lot of you guys have been noticing that it's been growing. So we're going to show off some of these inches today. We're going to start on blow dried hair. And the styler I'm going to be using is the Tailored Beauty Flexible Curl Potion Mousse from their Golden Herbal Collection. And I will have my discount code on the screen for this as well. This is my first time using a mousse. Like really using a mousse on my hair so I'm really nervous. And it says it's a herbal blend of hibiscus for silky shiny bouncy curls. And all my brand ambassador sisters, their hair has been looking amazing, so I'm hoping to have the same results. Alright, so I do have here with me a bunch of flexi rods. Um, I bought these like six years ago and never used them. Like I have so many. I was in the hopes of doing a flexi rod set years ago and I never did it. So <laughs> I have them now that the time has come. So I'm going to start with the back of my hair. I did a middle part, that's the goal. I don't know how big of sections I should go about doing, but we're just going to wing it. So, I have faith that this is going to turn out amazing though. So yeah, I'm just doing blow dried hair so I have a shorter dry time. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with this big of a section. Hopefully that's not too big. It's just going to be about this much hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these longer rods. So these are the blue ones. And these are a 9 slash 16 diameter. And I'm going to use these mostly. And then these little shorter gray ones. I'm not too sure of the length. Um, they're 11 by 16 diameter I believe. And these shorter ones, I'm going to use it towards the front of my hair because the front of my hair is shorter. So, I'm going to use the shorter rods on the sh uh, front side of my hair and all these longer rods everywhere else. And maybe I should do a bit of smaller sections just so that my hair can dry even faster. So, yeah, the rest of this video is pretty much going to be me just showing you guys me styling my hair. And going through the process it won't be much talking so let's get into it okay so i did one off camera because i need to record um an insta story but i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and show you guys the process
going to be letting this style um, get dry under the heated, the hooded dryer because I do not have time for my hair to be wild and out. I know I don't have the method completely down, but because I know it's supposed to be like some space between your curls on this rod, but sis, I can't quite figure that out yet. I'm just trying to make sure I get the ends on here good. And then I guess you're supposed to roll it. Look. Roll and secure. Alright, this is exactly why I avoided doing this hairstyle all these years because look at this. Who is sleeping with this in their hair? This looks so uncomfortable y'all. But people's results are always so gorgeous. Now I gotta do the other side of my hair. Woo child. I pray these dry faster in the dryer. I pray because I refuse to go to sleep with these things in my hair. Refuse. And I still have enough flexi rods left. It looks like so. Hopefully this next side of my hair is pretty speedy. All right, y'all, this is how we're looking. This is kind of coming loose, but my hairs in the front are shorter, so it's a little bit harder. Um, to get everything to just act right so yeah this should be interesting i'm going to sit under my heavy dryer but this is what we're looking like y'all i have no clue how many rods i have in my hair um but i'm gonna sit under the hoodie dryer Hopefully it doesn't take long and then I'm gonna take these things loose. All right, y'all, I think my hair is fully dry. I sat in the dryer for about, I wanna say like 40 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these down and hopefully, fingers crossed, they look good. I'm going to be using the Tailored Beauty Lustrous Hair Remedy Serum to, to take down each um, flexi rod. So this is what it looks like. Okay, y'all. I might have did a thing. Okay. Okay, yay. Oh, wow. Why is one side better than the other? This side snatched. Oh, there's still one more in there. Now we're gonna go in the serum and separate. Y'all. Ah! This is cute. 
This is so freaking cute. Why y'all didn't tell me to do a flexi rod set sooner? Why y'all didn't tell me? This is cute. Look what my hair is doing. This is, this is cute. It didn't take long to do either. Oh my God, this style does not take long at all. Especially if you blow dry because you don't have to wait for the waiting time for it to dry. And if you have a hooded dryer. Because then you don't have to sleep in those um, rods. This is amazing. You know all the things I doubted my hair could do? My hair can do. So far from what I've tried out. Like I used to always think my hair couldn't do wash and goes. So I was like no. It's not for my hair. Like my hair can't do that. And then I just gave it a try. One day I said F it. I'm going to try it. Because that's when the wet line craze was first coming out. And I was like you know what. I want to try this wet line. And I gave it a shot. And I was like wait a minute. Wash and goes might be a thing. Like I might be able to do this to my hair. And with more practice I learned I could. And then with this, I was like, oh my God. Like I bought these six years ago, flexi rods. Never use them a day in my life. And now I use them today and I'm just like, wow. And I've done Bantu knots probably like twice ever in my life. And I never filmed it because I was like, I can't do this. But the very first time I did a Bantu knot set, it came out really good. But I didn't film it. But I knew I could do it. And I was just like, well, I can do this, you know? So. Whatever natural hairstyle you want to do, don't doubt yourself. Just the least you can do is try. That's the least you can do is just try. Give it a try and see how it comes out. Ooh, uh, this side has more volume because I feel like I did bigger sections. But. And then I'm going to just lay my edges. I'm using the Taylor Beauty Jamaican Black Castor Oil Edge Control. All right, y'all, this is my final look. Ah, this is so cute. Wow, that mousse is everything. Wow, okay, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.